face of good conduct and even the peace pact that the candidates signed a few days ahead of the election. I want to show you the true nature of some of these candidates. The peace pact that the candidates signed, um, I think President Akufuado, uh, Mr. Mahama, um, I think there were other parties that got a, a rep or so to sign, witnessed by the Chief Justice of the Republic. It says that you acknowledge and you commit to the following. A, that the remaining rounds of campaign sequel to the general election shall be conducted with decorum. B, that we shall monitor and keep in check the excesses of our supporters as and when they get out of line. Now you have candidates rather egging their supporters on after they have signed this peace pact, egging their supporters on to jubilate. And I'm explaining to you that nobody is a kid in this country. That is dog whistle for get out there and, uh, you know, um, um, celebrate. They go on. That they hereby commit themselves and supporters to continue to conduct their campaigns in a peaceful manner, that they undertake to accept the results of the election and concede to the winner accordingly. Then they commit to um, a number of things in it. After signing this, you now have candidate Mahama himself, not his campaign or his party. Those ones, you understand the party portion. But now you have the candidate himself asking his supporters that they have a right to uh, jubilate. And like I've said to you, it's a dog whistle for asking them to go out. We want to, as a government of Ghana, strongly urge all candidates to desist from such conduct. It has the potential to raise tensions, to heighten anxiety, and most importantly, it will leave your supporters severely disappointed if and when an eventual loss is occasioned for you. And so we think that the responsible thing to do as a government at this point in time is to call it out and let the public know, don't fall for that. Item number three. As you are aware, Ghana has had about eight successful elections since um, uh, the 1992 constitution was rolled out. The Electoral Commission has a proven track record of successfully conducting elections. This EC has come under a barrage of criticisms from this particular candidate. But as we can all attest to, so far, the exercise of this election has generally, the part conducted by the EC has generally been smooth. No candidate should at this stage get into this exercise of seeking to undermine the work of the EC. It is most irresponsible, and it would endanger the peace of this country. Now, another matter we're looking to is the attack on the media. Again, if you listen to the candidate's commentary, and the commentary by, I think, the general secretary of his party immediately following afterwards. They are now attacking the Ghanaian media, that you are now in the business of churning out fake results. I'm sure you heard that, that you are now in the business of churning out fake results. Everybody knows that the media in Ghana, independent, experienced in observing elections at collation centers, does the simple exercise of bringing in the numbers and doing the analysis. And this election, let's commend the Ghanaian media. Many of you have invested in software that allows you to do interesting analysis, do comparisons, etc. You are beginning to notice, just like what the outgoing president of the US of A has been doing. Candidate Mahama is now suggesting that the numbers that the Ghanaian media are churning out and the coalition that the Ghanaian media is beginning to do, which you have done in previous elections, are false and are fake. And we think that, again, it is important to call it out this is not the first time that you see um, a candidate begin to um, make such allegations when they know something that uh, maybe the rest of uh, the population don't know. And that's why I cited the example of the U.S., where the U.S. president, who is outgoing now, consistently been um, attacking the media as being fake news, enemies of the people, etc., etc. We're beginning to observe a bit of it here. And we think it's important not to let it slide, but to draw your um, attention uh, to this. Now, again, another claim is being introduced into the conversation, and it's important to draw the country's attention to it, that um, Mr. Mohammed's party says that it has won majority of the regions, and therefore it can extrapolate that it ought to win the presidential election. For the avoidance of doubt, we need to uh, remind everybody of what the rules of engagement are and what the facts are. The rules of engagement is in Article 63, Clause 3 of the Constitution 1992. And I'll read you just a little bit of it. It says, 
a person shall not be elected as the president of Ghana unless at the presidential election the number of votes cast in his favor is more than 50% of the total number of valid votes cast at the election. It has absolutely nothing to do with the regions that you claim or you purport to have won. The constitutional provision of who wins a presidential election is in Article 63, Clause 3. Please take time and read it and educate the Ghanaian public that if any candidate comes to tell you that he thinks that he has won a region which he thinks is big, therefore he should be the next president or a collection of uh, uh, regions. Ghana's election is not an electoral college like what happens in the US. Ghana's election, in accordance with Article 63, Clause 3, is simple. You have to win 50% plus one of the votes for the presidential election. And so please, this misinformation or disinformation that is being introduced into the Ghanaian election as it goes on, is important that we call it out so that the general public does not fall for it and begin to correlate that, oh, therefore, if this person wins X number of regions, then he should be declared president. No, there's an exercise for doing that. And that exercise, we understand, is being done by the Electoral Commission. In conclusion, the Electoral Commission has proven, I think, over the last eight elections, he has the capacity to do that which is doing. We want to urge the general Ghanaian population and all other stakeholders to remain calm to remain vigilant, yes, and to follow the EC's processes and the updates that the EC uh, will give us, and not be moved by um, comments now by a presidential candidate to do otherwise. And this is what we believe um, the government uh, ought to put out at this stage in the uh, election um, tonight. I'll do a quick summary, in chief, and then I will take um, your um, questions. If we're in church, I will say, and you are normally a doffo. Um, and you may, you know, I said, when you're Brenna, Moshia, and what I say, Mamum, your friend, Waha, and Sambe, you know me and Sabi. Me, if you are saying, I'm a tremor, say, Dintia, Mena, Majana, Hakasan, is a mini minister of information. But about to a Mizunami, a candidate, Casa, make an enye partisan assembly maker, Gana, buying, and a air Casa, and a semi, so said me, and a mean Casa, Magana, buying. Dintia, you bring Gana, buying, and me, or mine, eating, come on, say, um. Presidential candidates ne bako yewra mahama ababo ntin ba ye central for nche mbe ye don hri bako ni fa ana ba don hri bako ni no ke kan sembi an sem no aban susu enye mpp party aban and dey tell me say there's a difference between me as candidate and uh, me as minister of information the gun aban susu say we say ye kan ho asembi or say ono ne party enye majority or parliament or say the supporters, in fear, and your money, and where Casacua, they all kind of saw Muntin single crum, and your money did they say, or my dinkunim, or say, easy no, a catasumum was so as a son election results, no. Now, soldier for crown poker hobby. Now, in Ghana, back or some, same way, say, seven to tuna, say, and some more tipper, and was say, you two a one or more. Now, say, Nagana buying, as he was handsome way home. The other kind, sir. Presidential candidates be an answer, Yerra Mahama, as any party a winning pa parliamentary majority are. Pacho a Mogu Sabri. The entire Mogu and say Ghana parliamentary elections, you were returning officers for 275 coalition centers. More central for you now, more or for 275 coalition centers. Obi Obedin couldn't be a more and more de ru, and Abeboa. And he says, Abri, so be a winning parliamentary majority 140. Send a by now, more kind am I in Ayati. Mumpa more 275. Obi do tifi on the umu ya ba more 275 coalition centers no. Mukrampo umu yanka. Tis a candidate. Many the day new money no. Um, say who can peace pact a nanu ya umu ko signi wo na ekem peace ki ana moving pick moving pick. Yeye Ramahama umampeni akufuado the chief judge umi na di umsabe shasi and essay. Sabre ya ye kwa kwa tuwa beya, nase abatu wa brisi. Enye mebi ya, wachita hafu wa krampo, eh ya, ebetu midi o yeni haba no. U krampo, no wodo msa shekla ta, se se, ubetu wa mfuwa shema, o mati ya saima, o mani ya saadin. Se se, de yewu wa mahama nana, wanini mpeni mfo, eh she, o mchita hafu wa kutupa, se o munti insi krum. De ya ye deni se, o muka ye, se odi wani fi kruma, ubi ya nshe deni ye, chiri ye bo gana fwa basu. Nemum, e wasi ye bo mu koko, se, se sabre 
Ah, he's in penny for a common near my boom. So be petuba catcher or candidate petuba catcher or say Tissy Crum, yeah, yeah. Um, a more Yuram Cacris and say, a bet me a detention a cosro. Yet he has a campaign, you know, a woman, now we are free central for now we are free central for no be a canassem. Nasafi candidate Nancasabe Cassano. And I say, in think away or kind of anchor or my penny a good word, and I say, who also candidate Nicasa.